Today, we're going to look at dosages based on the size of the patient. We can do the size of the patient times the order to find the dose. You'll see in some problems, we have to do the dose times the strength of the medication, and sometimes we'll have to do the dose times the weight of the patient times the strength. If we look at an example, our order is for Dilantin, 15 milligrams per kilogram loading dose by mouth, then 300 milligrams per day. For the loading dose, how many capsules of this drug would you administer to a patient who weighs 80 kilograms? And we can see they give us a drug label below. If we look at the dose first, the dose is 15 milligrams per kilogram. Then I'm going to multiply by the patient weight. They tell me here that the patient weighs 80 kilograms. I know with dimensional analysis, I want my units to cancel out, so I'm going to put the kilograms in the numerator so they cancel. This is not a rate, so I just have 1 in my denominator. Next, I multiply by the strength of the medication. I can see from the drug label that it's 100 milligrams and that they're giving me it in capsules. They also tell us that in the problem. I want milligrams to cancel out, so I'll put my 100 milligrams in the denominator and the one capsule up top in my numerator. When I multiply straight across, I end up with 1200 over 100. When I divide, that gives me 12, and I know my only units left are capsules. If we look at another example, we have an order for vibromycin, 2 milligrams per pound daily by mouth for 10 days. Read the label and determine how many milliliters of this drug you would administer to a patient who weighs 120 pounds. If I start with the order again, it's 2 milligrams per pound. The weight of the patient is 120 pounds. I once again want the pounds to cancel out, so I set them diagonal from each other. If I look back, they're asking me to determine how many milliliters of this drug. And if I look at the strength on my label, they tell me that it's 25 milligrams per 5 milliliters. I need to put the 25 milligrams in the denominator so it will cancel out and the 5 milliliters up in the numerator. When I multiply straight across, I end up with 1200 over 25. That gives me 48 milliliters. The next, next example has an order for biaxin, 7.5 milligrams per kilogram per day by mouth every 12 hours. Read the drug label and determine how many milliliters of this drug would you administer to a patient who weighs 180 pounds. In this example, I'm going to do a little bit of work first. Notice that they're asking, would you administer? That means that we're looking for one dose. But they're telling us up in the order, it's 7.5 milligrams per kilograms per day by mouth every 12 hours that every 12 hours tells us that this patient is getting two doses per day. So I'm going to take that 7.5 milligrams per kilogram and divide it by two. That tells me that this patient is actually getting 3.75 milligrams per kilogram per dose. And because I care about the per dose, that's what I'm going to use in my calculations. So I'm going to start my dimensional analysis with 3.7 milligrams per kilogram. Now we have another issue that we haven't had before. They tell us that the patient weighs 180 pounds, but the order is in kilograms. So the first thing I'm going to do is use dimensional analysis to go from kilograms to pounds. I know in one kilogram, there are approximately 2.2 pounds, and the kilograms cancel out. 
then I can use the patient's weight of 180 pounds. Just like before, I put the pounds over one. Now, I need to get rid of those milligrams because I want how many milliliters of the drug. I'll use the strength from this label that tells me there are 250 milligrams per five milliliters. When I multiply straight across, I end up with 3,375 over 550. That gives me 6.136 repeating. If I double check my units, the milligrams canceled out, so that's milliliters. Milliliters that large, we typically round to one decimal place or the tenths place. So I'll say that we'll be giving the patient approximately 6.1 milliliters. If we look at one last example, the prescriber ordered biaxin, clarithrymycin, oral suspension, 15 milligrams per kilogram per day, by mouth, divided in two equal doses. Read the label and calculate how many milliliters of this macrolide antibiotic a child who weighs 30 kilograms will receive. So I have a similar issue as before. They gave me the order per day, but it's divided into two equal doses. So I'm gonna take that 15 milligrams per kilogram and divide it by two to find that this patient is really going to be getting 7.5 milligrams per kilograms per dose. That's 7.5 milligrams per kilogram is how I'll start my dimensional analysis. In this case, they gave me the weight of the patient in kilograms, so I'll say 30 kilograms over one. Kilograms cancel. Now I need to find how many milliliters. If I look back at the drug label, there's 125 milligrams per five milliliters. The 125 milligrams goes in the denominator, the five milliliters goes in the numerator, so the milligrams will cancel out. When I multiply straight across, I get 1,125 over 125. When I divide, that tells me this patient gets nine milliliters.